With the arrival of King the Conqueror on the near horizon, many fans are ecstatic to finally see the time-traveling warlord make his debut in the MCU. But others may not be as familiar with who King is, what his capabilities are, and what makes him so formidable. That's what we're here to discuss today, so stick with us as we take a dive into the life of Nathaniel Richards and discover what exactly makes him such a terrifying individual and worthy successor to the mantle of the next overarching MCU villain. King the Conqueror was born in the 31st century as Nathaniel Richards and lived out the first portion of his life in relative peace until he discovered the remains of an old time machine. The first notable ability of King to be discussed is his incredible intellect an intellect that allowed him to reverse engineer the machine and discover a method of traversing time. Nathaniel Richards is the direct descendant of Reed Richards, otherwise known as Mr. Fantastic, who is often regarded as one of the most intelligent beings in the Marvel Universe often outclassing the likes of Tony Stark, Peter Parker, and it is safe to say that he inherited his predecessor's incredible intellect. This intelligence, paired with the advanced science and technology available in the 31st century, allowed him to access a wide array of advanced gadgets and technologies. And as he grew in his career as a time-hopping tyrant, he collected more and more tools to assist him in his conquests. His advanced battle armor is probably his most commonly used piece of machinery, as it not only enhances his physical characteristics and amplifies his strength, but it also houses its own extensive variety of weapons, as well as gadgets that he regularly uses to aid in his conquests. The suit also reacts and responds directly to his thoughts, both conscious and subconscious, using what is known as neurokinetic modifications. The hollow shields built into the armor are among the strongest in the known Marvel Universe, able to withstand point-blank strikes from nuclear artillery, and able to expand or contract anywhere within a radius of 20 feet around Kang. These incredible shields are not solid objects like Captain America is known to use, but are more similar to a force field that he can cast around himself and manipulate to his liking using his neurokinetic link. He also has a device built into his suit that allows him to manipulate gravitational forces of objects weighing up to two tons, which to the untrained eye resembles telekinetic powers. In addition to various forms of concussive blasts and electric strikes, he also has a particular affinity for hover pads, hover pads built into the bottoms of his boots or manipulated separately that allow him to hover and fly wherever he chooses. But perhaps the most dangerous of all King's weapons is a built-in time machine that allows him to traverse the timeline whenever, wherever, and however he chooses. The longest King has ever remained in the present is 136 hours meaning that he is very difficult to pin down to even attempt to combat him. And if anyone can find him and challenge him, everything he needs to defend himself is right there in his suit. Perhaps one of his underrecognized abilities is his political and industrial prowess. Kang is an incredibly convincing battlefield commander, businessman, and politician. Having spent vast amounts of time posing as various businessmen throughout history, he is able to raise and command entire armies to aid him in his conquests, and can manipulate the various political systems of any time period he ventures to, bending them to his will and further expanding his already vast empire. At one point, he and other various versions of himself from across the multiverse formed what is known as the Council of Kangs, which, given the explanation by He Who Remains at the End of Loki Season 1 finale, is a very real possibility to have occurred in the MCU. He Who Remains in Loki told of a time where various iterations of Kang were able to coexist, share technologies and research with the multiverse, and generally live in relative harmony. Is it possible that this is adapted into a spin on the Council of Kangs? And if so, it's even possible that this council is formed with less than pure intentions, posing a greater threat to the MCU than any one Kang is capable of surmounting on his own. On top of the incredible technology that he has access to, he is also biologically superior to an average human in the present day. Seeing as he was born in a time when medical advancements have expanded human lifespans to be far, far longer, King is usually depicted as a man nearly 70, but physically he has the body and agility of a man in his mid-40s. He is also an excellent physical hand-to-hand -hand combatant, having held his ground against even the likes of Captain America, obviously one of the best fighters in the MCU. 
This, paired with his extensive experience and what many have described as his indomitable willpower, have allowed him to push himself to and past his limits without fear or hesitation. On many occasions, he has even turned down the ability to harness some of the multiverse's most powerful artifacts to aid in his conquests. He has denied even the power of the Cosmic Cube, claiming that he prefers to conquer worlds and timelines through more conventional means. It is important to remember, however, that throughout the upcoming multiversal saga, it's possible that Prime Kang is not the only variant of Kang that we will be introduced to especially seeing as we've already been introduced to a variant of him known as He Who Remains. Arguably, one of the most well-known variants of Kang is known as Iron Lad, who is a young man who came to know his future as a time-traveling conqueror and sought to avert his destiny at all costs. He then took on the mantle of Iron Lad, sporting a suit resembling that of Iron Man's armor of old, and serving as a hero for some time. With the recent departure of Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark, is it possible that we will be introduced to a version of Iron Lad in order to honor and recognize Tony Stark's contributions across the centuries without seeking to replace or replicate him. While many fans have been advocating for Iron Man 3's Hardly Keener, last seen at Tony Stark's funeral to take on the mantle of Iron Lad in Tony's name, the introduction of Kang the Conqueror opens the door for a more comics accurate version of Iron Lad to emerge. This could also serve Iron Lad's character development more thoroughly than it would Hardly Keener, seeing as this variant of Iron Lad would have the sense of duty, responsibility, and moral baggage that comes with being a variant of the greatest threat to the multiverse. This could make for a compelling character arc as this version of Nathaniel Richards routinely sees himself in Kang and his conquests, and fears that he may be doomed to grow into this very same tyrant. A story like this could, in theory, make for an incredibly compelling story and a worthy successor to the Iron Man mantle, without overshadowing or attempting to replace Tony Stark. A story like this would mirror that of Tony Stark's battle against his own inner demons, except instead of Tony confronting his past, Richards could confront his future. And since the story of Far From Home centered around Peter Parker realizing that he would never be the next Iron Man, Peter could grow into a fully developed adult Spider-Man and allow Iron Lad to shine in his own right, as they both could coexist in harmony. This is of course speculation, and a fun thought experiment to explore what we could potentially see later in the MCU. And while the story may not be for everyone, it is still a fun thought to explore. But anyway, my friends, are you excited for the arrival of Kang? And do you think he'll be able to lead the multiverse arc to be as compelling as the Infinity Saga? And what are your thoughts on the MCU iteration of Iron Lad? Should the mantle be passed to Harley Keener, or would you prefer to see a more comic accurate iteration? Also, what are your thoughts on the many powers of King the Conqueror? As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching the channel. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.